Hello, YouTube. This is Augustus Watch. Now I'm here to make another vlog. <laughs> Out here at the Marsh Meadow, I like to gaze at stars and planets. Because it's got a pretty nice sky out here with not a lot of light pollution. And I don't have a yard light just because I like looking at the sky. And it's kind of a rural area up here. And uh, I see some things that aren't very well explained sometimes up in the sky. And uh, I see satellites. I see aircraft, like airplanes. I even seen helicopters at night. They all have a certain look about them. There used to be a guy who liked to qualify. He had his own helicopter. He has a concrete business. And he'd qualify for night landings every so often. And I saw that. And it had a turban on it. And whatnot, but you can kind of tell, even though from a distance I can see how they have helicopters don't make any noise. The helicopter only will make noise if it's a big helicopter going at a pretty high cruise speed, you know. I mean, those big helicopters, if they don't have a lot of air load on them, if they're descending or something, or if they're making a nice shallow climb out, like. They don't make a lot of noise because they're powerful aircraft, man. But they, they turn put pour the coal of their throttles. They can make a lot of noise. But when the guy's just making night landings, he's not going to go uh, be reaching the upper end of the performance level on his helicopter. And it seems like it's a whisper quiet, blue thunder kind of helicopter out there being weird. But it's just normal. It's a little R-22. I mean, it's this light helicopter. It's going to make a light noise, so that's the way it goes with some things. But I, I see satellites, too. And I've noticed I've seen the satellites on the polar orbit come by. And I've also seen satellites come by on a helical. And you can pretty much see a satellite because it turns and stuff. It's doing a barbecue roll, and it's got shiny surfaces. And you can see it kind of get shinier. And, but, but pretty much it's locked on one track. And as you see it going, and it doesn't come back again but the other things I see is quite lower altitude than a satellite and I think they're pretty small and uh, they're glowing orbs and they go pretty fast and they're completely silent and they float and I've noticed that dogs bark at them and coyotes will just make a ruckus uh, they'll make their like territorial barks and yips and stuff when these things come by so they see them too and if they upset coyotes it's something uh, you know because airplanes don't upset coyotes but these things are weird enough that a coyote gets freaked out so and they are weird and I've thought there's I've did enough to do some research and they are not aliens from outer space this is technology that's been around for a long time but it's been kept hidden. Nikola Tesla, JP Morgan crushed his dream because he was gonna uh, zero point energy. Oh, he had it, well, uh, it's an initial cost, Mr. Morgan. Uh, you, you can sell these units to people and then they'll have, a, they'll have electric power at their farm. And he says, well, how do I meter it? Well, it comes from the magnetic field. How can you meter something like that? And he was totally turned off the idea, plus the fact that it was wireless transmission of electricity, too, when he had very much copper interests. Uh, J.P. Morgan was already wealthy, but in his world, he was just so locked into enslaving the population to his, his, his devices stringing copper all over the country when it didn't need to happen. So this is the same stuff that's linked to these weird machines flying overhead in this rural area up here in Roseau County, far north Roseau County. And I have seen them descend. And there isn't roads, there's a lot of private roads up in this area. Uh, public roads don't go every mile or every block here. Sometimes there's a big stretch and it's this private area and somebody from out of town lives there. Oh, and they bought it from somebody local, but nobody knows who they are, type of thing. And they got a big sheds and a house that they, it's hardly used. But once in a while, I see one of these things descend to a shed at the end of one of these private roads. Hmm. 
Shouldn't they be going off to Alpha Centauri or something if everything is true with the status quo on what UFOs are? I just think that uh, there's a group of people out there that like to like to see the bulk of the population living like cavemen compared to them. Scratching out a living. The only way we know how. No? Because uh, they keep the other way how select knowledge. But I believe there's two classes of these uh, flying saucers. The glowing orb ones are much more uh, involved with mechanical in, uh, devices and the apparatus is much more involved than the first class of UFOs which don't glow around and they don't have quite the performance but they're just and they depend on a fluid mass to operate. You know, but I'm t this is for another vlog telling you how I want. I, I like the ones that m the sound resonance propulsion and levitation system because it's pretty simple. It's just an old fashioned sky chamber, not a star chamber like something that would be a class above, but just something for the atmosphere to ride around in, you know. And uh, it's got, when you get down to it, it's less components than an airplane, or even a car, or even a push mower. So, it isn't, this has been being kept from people. The main thing is producing that electric power. Just putting up an antenna and gathering it. It's pretty much what zero point energy is. Uh, there is an initial cost, and you, it does have to be engineered for efficiency and tested and all that stuff costs money money that mo a, a private citizen as myself will never uh, never acquire a, a budget to engineer uh, a refraction an antenna a fractionation of the electric current of the earth is the technical term for it and I'm sure it's been done but on a small scale as like a demonstrator thing that really doesn't doesn't uh, have the utility to be a force you know in people's interests mainstream interests and I'm sure there's powerful people most mainly people who have petroleum interests who would never want it uh, it would cut into their little revenues a lot because a lot of these people they say well they got more money than God it's not the money they like that uh, that we're barbarians at their feet. That's what makes them feel good because maybe they don't have uh, the most athletic body or the most uh, uh, social good social graces or uh, everything that they want in life or they feel imperfect and they need to to make up for it. They'll compensate by lording over us barbarians. And it's up to people like on YouTube, other people out there. I could make a shout out to people, but this would be too long. Listen to what people have to say. We're not crackpots out in the street corner uh, just ranting. There's something behind it. It's fundamental, and it's I do it because I want to share with you what I know. So when you see those weird things up in the sky, I see them too. Thank you for watching YouTube. This is Augustus Larch.